What's up, this is MLB Talk 123. A uh, little bit contradicting from my name, MLB Talk 123. I'm actually doing something outside of Major League Baseball. I saw this and I had to do it. I always love watching the Little League World Series. Actually, our hometown, my hometown, Moline, uh, some of my friends, uh, a grade younger than me, uh, actually went to, um, they were in the Lake, uh, was it Lake Regionals, I believe, and if they would have won against Ohio, they would have went to the Little League World Series representing the Great Lakes region. Now, this year, uh, I haven't got to watch every game. I've watched some here and there, um, but Huntington Beach from California has beaten the Japanese team uh, from Hamatsu City. Uh, they beat them 2-1. to one. Now, how did this happen? Uh, J Japan scored their one run on an error, and then in the bottom of the sixth inning, Nick Prado comes up, um, and he connects for a single with two outs. The reason why there's two outs instead of the inning is over is because uh, Japan made an error that would have been an inning an inning ending double play. Instead, it forced the bases loaded. They got a force out and then a single. Uh, as a 12 year old kid, got the walk off single. Um, the pitchers actually did a great job. Uh, Huntington Beach pitcher had six innings of a three hit uh, complete game. Uh, and really good pitching for both sides. Uh, the main story here is Huntington Beach, another USA team. Six of the seven uh, last World, Little League World Series have been a USA team. Uh, I haven't watched this Little League World Series uh, this year to know that much about the different teams involved in it, um, but it's, it's always fun to watch. I always love the Little League World Series because it gives it you know, a chance for Little League players in that age group to really go out, meet different players from different countries, different states, compete, uh, have the atmosphere of a major league baseball atmosphere. I was talking to uh, one of my friends, uh, Ian McPherson, and uh, he was on the Moline team that went to the Great Lakes Regional Finals. And, you know, he's just talking about, you know, they put you in this room and, you know, they told you that the scouts were there and stuff. And there's a few of them and then they're, you know, telling you different rules. You can't uh, do certain things in between innings. You can't do this. You know, all kind of putting the show together. Um, and, you know, they had, you know, these huge, you know, clubhouses and the showers and everything and meeting the different guys and just really just having a lot of fun. The main part was just, you know, certain teams were nicer than others. Uh, I heard Michigan was really awesome. They are just there to have fun, you know, and I think that's the right attitude to go. Obviously, it's nice to win, but major league players, it's nice to win. But the main thing is, you know, you have fun with it because if you're, if you're losing and not having fun with it, you know, if you lose and you can find a way to have fun with losing, then that's great. And, and J the thing about Japan is it always seems like they get really close to World Series, Little League World Series, or they get to the Little League World Series. They're trained really traditionally. They're trained really well, obviously, and a lot of players come out uh, from Japan to the major leagues, and they, they really know what they're doing. Uh, great program in Japan, uh, but again, the USA teams have, have won six of the last seven years. A lot of times you see California teams, they get to train year-round. Uh, just a lot more people in California, uh, a lot of talent in California. A lot of big leagues kids are in California. A lot of, uh, just a lot of people in California and a lot of talent comes out of there, and the fact that they get to train all year-round definitely helps. A lot of athletic people in California, and it really helps. Uh, their chances. I remember a few years ago, this one um, California team, uh, or it might have been Hawaii team. I can't remember, but there's just one big guy who just hit home runs all the time, and just I could see him becoming a major leaguer. And the thing that's cool about this is a lot of major leaguers actually participate in little league World Series when they're younger, or the college World Series. Uh, it's really interesting to see little league. Uh, you know, you might be looking at a 12 year old. Or, you know, if you if you are competing in the Little League World Series, congrats to you. If you didn't make it, congrats to you either way. To even get to a regionals or state or whatever, you know, I was in the All-Star team uh, for my city this year, but not eligible for Little League World Series a year older, two years older, whatever it was. Um, and, you know, you win the first two games and you lose a game that you should have won and it gets all your mentality, you know, going the wrong way and momentum and all that. And you lose the next one. So we got out of the tournament pretty fast. But, you know, it, that's happens in baseball. The best teams are the teams that are going to uh, continue. And, you know, that's the thing. It's so rare to see kind of fluke years for certain teams because, you know, it's really the most talent you have in your team usually is going to put you over the top. But with some teams, you know, it's just their attitude and their mentality going after it. 
it really helps him a lot. And uh, with the Little League World Series, you never know. You know, if you're participating in the Little, C Little League World Series, you meet a kid, and, you know, that kid might be end up in the major leagues, or you might end up in the major leagues. So just keep working hard. You guys, everyone who got even close or participated in the Little League World Series, you guys obviously deserved it. You did a, just a hell of a job. Um, I didn't actually watch this game, so I can't, you know, tell you play-by-play -play of everything that happened. So if you're watching this video and you're participating in it, I'm sorry that I didn't mention your name or whatever. Um, but really just great job out to everyone. Japan, great job to you guys. I know you guys lost, but you made it to the Little League World Series, and that's you're always representing well for your country. And uh, Huntington Beach, I, I love Huntington Beach. Um, so congrats to you guys. Uh, enjoy it. Um, and you'll probably remember it the rest of your life for sure. Big deal there, winning the Little League World Series. Um, and just congrats to everyone who participated. I'm going to talk one, two, three. Uh, I usually do videos on Major League Baseball signings, acquisitions, whatever trades. Um, but, you know, it was a good story, so I kind of just want to make a video real quick. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll be talking one, two, three again. Congrats to Huntington Beach on winning the 2011 Little League World Series. Presented by Taco Bell. <laughs> no, all right. Thanks, guys. I'll be talking one, two, three. See ya.